all right you guys welcome back to my channel this is shay and right now i'm about to get into a video about transgender and gay pastors the gay church has become this new thing okay and i even saw one here where i live and i and i rolled by it and i said what the heck is this what and then the lord began to deal with me about this whole movement even before the Lord revealed to me that this was an antichrist spirit, okay? So I made a video yesterday and I revealed those things to you guys um, that the LGBT community, it is of the antichrist, okay? And the antichrist is any and everything that denies father and son, okay? And, and, and listen, the word says that I put my word above my name so if you deny that I say only male and female should be married, then you deny me, okay? So that is of the Antichrist. It opposes God's word. It says we do what we want to do. It is a rebellious spirit, okay? And first of all, I, um, I had to study this thing. I had to study it. What are these people thinking? Okay, let me get into their minds. Let me see. Let me see how I need to go and intercede for them on their behalf because... I told you guys yesterday there are some souls in the LGBT community that have the, the the that have the mark of Jesus on them, okay? And not because of anything that they've done right. It's because God he makes covenants with people. And it's some prayers of some grandmothers and some aunts and uncles up there, okay? And they said, "Please just take my t please bring my son out, bring my daughter out." And God said, "Don't worry, I got this." Okay? So there are some people and some covenants in the LGBT community that will be brought out. Okay, I'm just speaking that because I know it to be true. I began to Google gay church and I was bl I was blown away, like mind blown at the level of blasphemy. Listen, the way that this spirit, this antichrist spirit will have transgender people and all their matters of abominations to sit inside of a church with a cross and, and, and all of this stuff. And I said, oh lord i saw transgender men in in full-blown clergy and they're speaking and they're twisting the word because listen that they, they it's the antichrist they're gonna twist and turn the word to fit what they want it to fit and that is a rebellious spirit and rebellion in the bible is as witchcraft Okay, so it's nothing more than witchcraft going on in that church, okay? It's not even a church. Gay and church should never be in the same sentence, okay? Because for one, gay is a choice. Gay is a choice. I don't care. People can say, oh, I was born gay. Okay, and you have the decision to act on it or not. That's a choice, okay? You're either going to give it give it over to Jesus and allow him to change you and change your mind and your heart, or you're not, okay? In church, the church is something that my Savior, my Jesus died for. And you have the audacity to bring all of your matter of abominations and sit in the... Woo-wee! Y'all have no fear? Y'all don't fear God? Here is a list of the abominations, okay? Arrogance gay pride okay pride that's arrogance that's an abomination lying in the eyesight of god is an abomination okay and you're lying and twisting god's word and saying that you can change god's word hands that shed innocent blood that is what you do when you get in these so-called churches and you lead god's people astray oh no 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 and then we can't understand why god's wrath is here this is why wake up the antichrist is here a heart that plots wickedly feet that are quick to do evil false witnesses who speak lies that listen false witnesses oh yeah we can do we can do what we want to do we can marry same sexes we can marry gay people we can change god's word we can change the law according to the united states and woe unto everybody from the head on down. Y'all favorite president, the president is black, the Lambo is blue. Him, he's in on this too. You passed the gay rights bill. And yes, it's even, it's listen, it's noted in the Bible, in the book of Revelation. But guess what? You're still going to be judged for that. He who justifies the wicked and condemns the just. That's, listen, that's, oh, toxic masculinity, homophobic. That's an abomination. 
cross dressing cross dressing in, in deuteronomy 22 and 5 that is an abomination before the lord another one that is an abomination is rejecting god's law it blocks prayers okay and this is the thing this is the enemy this is him this is nothing but the enemy okay because he comes to kill steal and destroy he comes to kill your inner man steal your inheritance okay and destroy your relationship with god this is what he does this is nothing but the enemy this is the antichrist and it's here and it's been here and we've just been so blind that we haven't picked it up an historic service at the washington national cathedral for the first time an openly transgender priest spoke from the pulpit fox's lauren demarco has the details Officials here at the National Cathedral say that they're hoping to send a message of love and affirmation to the LGBT community. They're celebrating equality in honor of Pride Month. At this point, I was known as an openly gay partnered woman, and I was just beginning to come to terms with being trans. Transgender church? Transgender pastor? Listen, let me tell you something. You just made that up. That's no such thing as a transgender pastor. What? There's no such thing. There's no biblical such thing. You made that up. It's like a unicorn. A transgender pastor is make-believe. You can twist God's word to conform to sin if you want to, but woe unto you. Woe unto you. You don't get to tell people that they can just love and, 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 and marry whoever they want to if it's contrary to God's word. Are you out of your minds? I said yesterday, the spirit belongs to Satan, but the people belong to God. That's why the Bible says, to be ye holy for I am holy and be not conformed to this world, but to be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Listen, it is not okay to change God's word and say that same-sex marriage can be legal. I don't care what the government says, okay? And then you have the audacity to bring it into God's church. They Listen, they, they, they take the word of God and they completely twist it and turn it around to fit their lifestyle. And that is not so. No, 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 no. And they say, oh, well, love is for everybody. Oh, love, love, love. No, 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 no. Don't just skip over the part where it says abstain from sexual immorality. Listen, that goes for same-sex marriage. That goes for bestiality, which is sleeping with animals and, and doing all types of crazy stuff. Anything that's sexually immortal, we need to repent. This is how you know we're, listen, we are near the end, okay? Because Jesus says, you'll know it's time when the Antichrist is being revealed. And right now, the Antichrist is being revealed, okay? It's setting itself up in churches, deceiving people like a what? A snake. This Antichrist spirit does not intimidate me. This Antichrist spirit is coming down because giants fall. So we are indeed in the last days, okay? And I'm just going to read you something. The word of the Lord, it says, For the day will not come unless the falling away comes first. Listen, that is the falling away of, from God's word. That's here. That's here right now. And the man of sin is revealed, the son of perdition, which is eternal damnation. That is Satan. The man of sin is the Antichrist. They are one and the same. If you say Satan, the Antichrist is there too. They are one and the same, okay? And that is how this spirit has gone. Listen, this spirit has gone rampant. This spirit has set itself up in places of authority and in God's house and in his temple. That's what it says in, in 2 Thessalonians 2 and 3 through 4. That's what the word says. Sorry, a hawk just flew over my car. Anytime, listen, anytime that, that I'm onto something and anytime that I'm saying something that the Lord would have me to say, he confirms it and he sends hawks and God always confirms his word. Don't tell me that God doesn't speak. He's, sp that's a whole different topic. Okay, so listen, all of that is happening right now. Listen, it says, whoever opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God or that is worshiped so that he sits as God in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. That is the Antichrist. These times that I just read is happening right now. <laughs> the Antichrist is revealed. 
They told us to look out for the Antichrist at all costs. They were looking for man and all of this stuff. No, that's a spirit. And I wonder if we knew that if we taught the right things instead of taking God's money in these churches, and, and, and stealing from God's sheep, I wonder if so many people would have conformed to this spirit knowing that it was the Antichrist, okay? Because the Antichrist sounds intimidating, but if you say, oh, LGBT community, oh, stripes and rainbows, they make it look fun and they entice and deceive people and this is how, this is how it happens. Listen, push me through in prayer in this time as I continue to expose this antichrist spirit that exalts itself in churches and temples of God. I love you guys. Until next time, I'll see you later. And don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless.